Hello, welcome to Cosmos and our demonstration of how to easily configure your Shopify integration with your point of sale. Cosmos eSync helps to connect your shops, restaurants, bars, retail stores to accounting, point of sale, ERP, CRM, and marketplaces. <laughs> it's easy with eSync. Let's click on our Rebel Systems Integration by Cosmos eSync. Now that Shopify is connected to eSync, you'll notice a message stating that you have not created any action. Actions are the operations you'd like Cosmos eSync to support. These include creating products, updating inventory only, creating matrices, and orders. Let's create an action, and you'll need to choose your point of sale next, and you'll have to authenticate with your user login information. Let's choose Rebel. Grant access, name your store, and hit next. Grant access, agree to continue. Now choose the two systems you want to connect, Shopify and Rebel. Rebel point of sale, continue, and add your actions. We suggest standard products first. Hit continue and save. Do this for orders and matrices next. Create action, Shopify, Rebel, continue, matrices, continue, save, in order to use your actions, you will need to configure them next. Click on Standard Products and Configure. Fill in your point of sale information. If you have one location, establishment will be one. Choose a timestamp on how far back you want to update your products. In your initial testing, just go back one day. Locate your employee by logging into your Rebel point of sale. Click on your employee. We suggest an employee that can be used for order uh, reporting and management. This employee for Shopify employee is number 27. Add that employee ID here and hit save. If you do not know your establishment ID, just click on establishments and you'll notice that our Portland store is one, New York is three, Seattle is two. You can confirm your configuration by going back to that action and reviewing your setup. You can also update your action at any time. Now for matrices, you do the exact same thing. Establishment one, choose a date, and employee. Hit save. Now let's go back and configure your order action. Click configure, choose a status to download your order. Probably it's gonna be open, financial status, most likely paid, and fulfillment, I would choose unshipped, and hit save. Next, let's direct these orders into Rebel. We know establishment is one. Your payment type will be zero. Zero is for um, orders destined as other. Employee, your register, our register will be register one. SKU, this is used for shipping. Please type exactly eSync shipping SKU and create this SKU in your point of sale. Use five for dining option as takeout. And for SKU, let's put in SKU in lowercase and hit save. You'll see your eSync shipping SKU here and this is used as a line item for all your shipping costs in your online orders. Now let's go back to dashboard. The next thing you wanna do is create a task and run an action. So your task is used to schedule your jobs. Click Add Action. We're gonna test standard products. Give it a name. And hit Save. Now, just run your action and log into your store and see the, your new product updates. Click Products and you'll see the new products that were updated to your store. If you have any questions, please contact us at CosmosCentral.com. Click our support link and sign up here. Thank you.